Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about multi step inequalities. We're going to solve each inequality and graph its solution. So if I was given this inequality, negative p is less than 4p, which is greater than a negative 10. Well, I'm going to combine my like terms negative p minus 4p as a negative 5p, and it's greater than a negative 10. Now, I want to, there's multiplication there, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 5. And in doing that, by dividing both sides by negative 5, it leaves me with a p still on the left. But on the right, I have negative 10 divided by negative 5, which is a positive 2. Also, important now, last little bit, divided by negative 5 over an inequality, we flip that inequality, okay? So the greater than sign becomes a less than sign. And there we have p is less than 2. Okay, he's isolated, fantastic. So now let's make a graph here. Zero, let's go by twos. Four, six, eight, negative two, negative four, negative six. Well, since p is less than two and not equal to, we put an open circle at two, and then I need a shade to the left because it said p is less than two. So a shade to the left. And now we have our graph. That graph represents and matches our answer, which is our final inequality, p is less than 2. So let's recap. We were given negative p minus 4p is greater than a negative 10. I combine negative p and negative 4p to be negative 5p. Then I divide by negative 5 to both sides, causing p to be isolated by itself, and negative 10 divided by negative 5 being a positive 2. But since I divided by a negative over the inequality, that inequality needs a flip from a greater than sign to a less than sign. So now I added my final answer. I need to graph that. I have an open circle because p is not equal to 2. And then I shaded to the left because we said p was less than 2. And now we have our graph that matches the final answer, which is p is less than 2.